everyone. Thanks for joining us for our Brain Booster today. My name is Shannon Kennedy, and I work on the customer engagement team here at VistaView Solutions. Today, we'll be working on deactivating a user that no longer requires an SAP Business One login. This can be done for a variety of reasons. Perhaps they've moved out of the department that utilizes SAP, or maybe they've moved on from your company and you need to make sure that their login is no longer active. So I'm in my main menu here in SAP Business One, and I'm going to go under my admin option. Under admin, you'll choose setup, and then general. This is where you'll find your user information. It's going to open up in find mode like many other SAP screens, and I'll enter in the name of the user that no longer needs SAP access. So I open up Sam's record here, and I see locked. I'm simply going to tick lock, untick any of the options that are ticked here, and update. This is now locked Sam's user so that he can no longer enter into the system no matter where he should log in from. This is an immediate update in SAP Business One. Our next option to make sure that Sam is no longer an active user in SAP is to look up the employee master data. I'm gonna use my fuzzy search here to bring up my employee master data list. It's going to open up also in find mode. I'm going to start typing in Sam's name and I see Sam's employee record here. Now since Sam is no longer employed at your company and we've deactivated his SAP user, I'm also going to deactivate his employee here. Once I click update, this update takes effect immediately as well. You want to make sure however that once you're deactivating a user, if this user happens to be assigned to anything as a default in SAP Business One, and that includes perhaps sales employees documents, um, customer records, vendor records, anything that SAM may be linked to, you'll wanna make sure and update. Otherwise it could cause other users errors in the future because it will be trying to use an inactive employee. However, you don't want to delete an employee record or an SAP user record because you'll want clear audit tracking to what that user's touched and done in your SAP system for an extended period of time once, they've, once they're not using your SAP system. This is standard in most companies, and for some, you may need to keep that information indefinitely just to make sure that you have a clear record of what SAM has done inside your system. So now once I've done that, my next step would be to unassign the SAP Business One license that's assigned to, Ed, to Sam Eddie's user. So that way you can assign it to another user or a new hire once they've joined your team. So underneath my admin menu again, I'm gonna find my license option. I'm going to go into my license administration and I'm going to look up Ed's user. Once I look up the user, it will show me what licenses have been assigned and are being used by that user in the right side of your screen here. Now, to make any updates, you simply have to untick the option here and click update. These updates again will happen in real time so that license will become available for your next user immediately. You don't have to have any of your users logged out of the system to make changes such as those, but you do have to be an SAP Business One super user. So if for any reason, any of the options that I've shown you today are not available to your user, you could just need to ask your admin team to update your user to a super user. Or of course, you can reach out to your SAP Business One partner or us here at VistaView Solutions and we'd be happy to help you. Thanks so much for joining. Have a good day.